in this video I'm going to do uh, one of the best examples that I have liked while teaching in India uh, now this example is good because it has an application in physics and uh, uh, not deeper application it's simple uh, speed distance and time okay so let me read the question Swati can draw her boat at the speed of five kilometers per hour in still water if it takes her one hour more to row the boat 5.2 kilometers upstream than to return downstream find the speed of the stream so I'll draw a stream so that you understand so this is the stream my drawing is not that good so this is the stream so this is the boat okay what, what is the question now when the boat is in still water okay now this is this this is a stream and we want to find the speed of the stream so let me change color the speed of the stream is what you want to find the speed of the boat is five kilometers per hour in still water in still water that means if imagine this is not a stream this is a pond this boat uh, has its own speed so it can travel at a speed of five kilometers per hour but now the situation is different it is it has got a current this is under the stream so when it is going downstream it will have its own speed suppose the speed of the stream say we say it is x kilometers per hour we don't know that's what we want to find x kilometers per hour the speed of the stream is x kilometers per hour and the speed of the boat is five kilometers per hour so when the boat is going downstream what speed would it have it will have its own speed plus the speed of the current which is or the stream which is x plus five kilometers per hour okay now but when it is coming upstream can the speed of the boat be less than the speed of the stream obviously not if the speed of the boat is less than the speed of the stream the boat can now ne never come upstream so here obviously the st speed of the boat is more logically phi is greater than x because the boat is coming upstream okay so when it's coming upstream it will have its speed minus because it's moving against the stream so the speed when it is moving up the stream will be phi minus x kilometers per hour okay now you know speed is distance over time so can we say if you make time the subject time is distance over speed okay now this is crucial now think about it what does it say if it takes one hour more to row the boat 5.2 kilometers upstream so we know the distance upstream or downstream is 5.25 kilometers so you've got two time one time as you've got two speeds suppose let let us call this say s1 and this is s2 so this s1 is the speed of the boat when it's going downstream and s2 is the speed of the boat when it's coming upstream so what will be t1 okay t1 would be d over s1 so we can say d d is constant because d upstream and downstream the distance is the same over s1 so we can say this implies t1 is d or uh, what is d d we know is 5.25 so we can say it is 5.25 over s1 what is s1 s1 is 5 plus x okay in the same way can i say t2 is distance over its speed that is when it's coming upstream so this implies t2 would be 5.25 
over phi minus x. So what are we? What do we know? It takes more time to come upstream. Logically, we can understand because you are moving against the current. So can we say that T two is T two is T one plus T two is T one plus one means what are we saying the time let me read this again if it takes one hour more to row the boat 5.25 kilometers upstream than to to return down so that means basically what they're saying is you need one more hour <coughs> to come upstream rather than when when you compare downstream <coughs> So let us let me put this back. So can I say 5.25 over phi minus x is equal to 5.25 over phi plus x plus one? Okay. So uh, let me bring this to this side. So can I say this is 5.25 over I minus x minus 5.25 over phi plus x let me put this in bracket is equal to 1 so you can factor out 5.25 so if you factor out 5.25 you'll have 1 over phi minus x minus 1 over phi plus x is equal to 1 so now 5.25 is equal to, now you can cross multiply. So this is phi plus x minus phi minus x over phi minus x times phi plus x is equal to 1. So this becomes 5.25, I'm keeping 5.25 here, is equal to, so let me open the bracket. So this is phi plus x minus phi plus x over. This is the difference of two squares, which is 25 minus x squared. Okay, so what will happen? So this plus phi and minus phi gets cancelled. So this is 2x times 5.25 is equal to 1 of course and then you can cross multiply so this is 1 times 25 minus x squared okay so now it will happen so this is 5.25 so let me get 5 point so this is 10 mm, am I doing it right yeah 5.25 times 2 5.5 5 times 2 is 10 so it is 10.5 x 10.5x is equal to 25 minus x squared. Okay, so what will happen? So therefore, this is x squared uh, plus 10.5x minus 25 is equal to 0. Okay, so now this has become a quadratic equation. So this is x squared uh, plus, okay, so let us use uh, which are the two factors of 25, which gives you 10.5. Okay, so 25 I know is 5 times 5 is 25. So if you double this, so this is 10, so you have to half this, which is 2.5. So 10, 5, uh, if you double this, okay, I'll use the calculator. So let me use the calculator. Okay. Okay, so there's my calculator. Okay. Uh, so let me try. So this is, let me do without the calculator. So this is 10 x squared plus 105 x over 10 minus 25 is equal to 0. 
so this is x squared I will this is if you divide both so this is 21 x over 2 minus 25 is equal to 0 so I'm going to multiply all with 2 now so this will become 2x squared plus 21x yeah I can do without the calculator minus 25 is equal to 0 so now which are the two factors of 50 which gives you 21 how did I get a 50 so 2 times minus 25 is minus 50 now the two factors of minus 50 which gives me plus 21 are plus 25 minus 4 okay and that also gives me 21 so I'll write this 2x squared plus 25x minus 4x so what I've done is I've split the middle term this has been split to this so now what can you factor out? You can factor out an x here. So this is 22x plus 25. And if you factor out a negative 4 here, uh, no, if this is 5th, this will become 50. Sorry, I made a mistake here. I should have multiplied this with 50. Yeah. Uh, sorry, so again, my explanation is not right here. So let me correct my explanation so this is 50 times 50 times 2 is 100 I was thinking of 100 okay and the two factors of 100 so let me do it again so 2 times minus 50 gives me minus 100 okay and the two factors of 100 which gives you is this okay my in my brain I was using 100 okay so minus 21 so if you add this you'll get this and if you multiply this you get this so this should be this should be 4x minus 50 okay it's always good to check your answer always at all steps if you factor out a 2 here you get 2x plus 25 equal to 0 equal to 0 you're almost there so this is 2x plus 25 I could have used the calculator but I didn't want to <coughs> x minus 2 is equal to 0 <coughs> so x is minus 25 over 2 or x is 2 now this cannot be possible so we're accepting this the speed cannot be negative it can be negative though but here because of stream we are saying it can be only positive so the speed is speed of stream so the speed of str sp stream is 2 kilometers per hour now we need to check the answer it's always good to check the answer because this is a good question so let me let us check the answer so <coughs> if you have uh, you can uh, the distance is 5.25 kilometers and so if you go 5.25 your t1 so let me let me do t1 here again so what is t1 t1 is 5.25 divided by 7 okay so i'll use my calculator 5.25 divided by 7 will give me 5.25 divided by 7 is 0.7 so t1 is 0.75 hours you can use the calculator and t2 would be 5.25 divided by what is t2 uh, 5.25 divided by when you take away 2 that will be 3 so 5.25 divided by 3 use the calculator that will be t2 would be 1.75 hours and that does make sense so this is one and three quarter of an hour and when you're going upstream sorry downstream you need a quarter of an hour and upstream you need one hour and one and three quarter of an hour so the time difference is one hour thank you see you in the next video